Tell me when. Your name and, uh, and where you're from. That one guy from San Francisco, California, real name Mike Silverman, okay. and uh, yeah, purveyor of the magic pipe. Yes. So when you tour, you come to Canada often? Or you... Yeah, lately it's been a bit more. I've been um, getting into the festival circuit here and, and it's been a blast. I love it up here. This is my first time at the Big Time Out. Being on the festival circuit, you start to run into people over and over again, which is awesome. It's really fun. and. Uh, like these guys over here, Moshav, we played about three or four festivals together all over the world. I ran into them in Australia too, and and then uh, yeah, it's been good. It's that's the fun. That's my favorite part is is meeting nice folks and kind of. What's your favorite part about festivals? What makes them special? Um, well, you know, playing. For me, I like to play, and uh, the audiences at these things are the, the most incredible. You know, people come to these things to hear music, and that, and so they're already in the right mind frame and and they're and they're here and they're looking for something different too is that's the fun part they they're, they're, they want to see something that they've heard but they've also kind of they're kind of expecting to see something that they haven't seen they're, they're kind of counting on it so that's what that's what I love about it uh, just the open-mindedness and the, just the, the just the vibe the good vibe yeah no it's true it's true it's it's um there's there's plenty of opportunities to see what what the festival or goer wants to see, and so this is uh, it's just a good it's a good mix it's a good mix of things you know I think that, that to me a successful festival um, kind of mixes things correctly you know put g g something old something new something crazy something a little more traditional and just bring it all together because uh, give everybody a choice and, and and give everybody just a good variety of, for their for their money you know. For sure. Let's talk about your instruments. Yeah, uh, the Magic Pipe is my primary instrument. It's um, it's sort of a hybrid of steel and aluminum and phosphor bronze. <laughs> I just incorporated the phosphor bronze. Um, it's two. It's two. It's basically two one-string instruments fused into one big instrument. Um, one string's real low. One string's real high. The high ones for my melody and my melodic side. And I per they're both very percussive. I do lots of percussive. Um, techniques and I have a very percussive approach to my music. I always have. Um, the big string is my subsonic bass sort of uh, end of things and then I have these uh, trigger sensors all over the whole thing that actually um, function as more percussive percussive options for, for what I do and as well as my feet are playing percussive triggers too so um, it keeps me busy it's 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 very much a modern one-man band is the way I describe it yeah, yeah the sound is incredible. What, oh um, thanks uh, double bass I used to play upright bass for you know since I was 10 years old I started on the upright bass my dad was a professional jazz bass player so luckily for me I grew up with an instrument in the house which I mean who gets that opportunity I mean a lot of people have a piano in the house but an upright bass it's a it's kind of a rare one you know and dog um, and uh, and uh, yeah so I grew up with the bass I've always been into the bass I've always been really drawn to low frequencies and and, and the rhythm section and so low frequencies rhythm rhythm section that's a big a big part of what I do you know now in a nutshell or briefly I guess um, from the bass to this instrument how do yeah you, how do they do um, the idea of the one-man band came first and it was very much me uh, with the loose idea and a challenge to myself to see if I could even do it. I just thought it would be neat to be up on stage by myself and not have to have a band all the time. I, I had a, an eight-piece band that I really loved, um, and then I pl did a lot of freelance work as a bass player, so I was very much a musician that played in groups, and I love playing with people, but the one-man band just seemed like a neat challenge, you know, and so I started this very percussive approach on the, on the double bass where I was becoming sort of a one-man rhythm section, and uh, this was a way to, the instrument was a way to further that technique, you know, so um, I'd have more, uh, just more, more sonic textures at my at my disposal, you know, and um, it's worked out. You know, I really love playing by myself, and I, I feel like I can go places alone that I can't go with other people because I, um, I I'm very self-conscious when I play with other musicians. I'm always worried that I'm stepping on toes, or am I playing the right thing, or am I respecting the music? And when, by myself, I just don't care. I throw it all out the window, and I just have a gas. So, you know. Uh, electronically, you built that? Yeah, I could design it all and put it together. Yeah, all through just uh, trial and error. Yeah. Awesome. Very yeah. Cool. Very cool. Um, Thanks. Um, what's your plans? Like, what, are your, what is your, your music? You got a CD or anything? Yeah, I got two CDs out. I got a new one that came out this last summer. Um, I got an older one that's a few years old. Um, and I still play a lot of songs from that because they're some of the 
some of my favorite songs that I wrote earlier on, so I kind of continue to keep them in my repertoire. And then I have a DVD that came out last year as well. And uh, touring, I'm just touring all my tour year, all year. It never stops. You know, I love it. I love I love playing and I love working a lot. So it just keeps me busy and and I just feel lucky. It takes me to all kinds of neat places. So it's it's, it's a blessing, you know, for me to get to do this. So yeah. Um, website. Uh, that one guy dot com, but it's all with the numeral one. So it's that numeral one guy dot com. And in my MySpace is the same thing. It's that one guy. And uh, yeah, I always keep all my dates on there on my website, and, and all my stuff is always available there. And my video, uh, there's a bunch of videos you can watch on on the instrument and such. So yeah. Well, thank you very much. Hey, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Enjoyed your show, man. Oh, thank you. Oh, I sure appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.